Hey guys, I don't do a whole lot of how-to videos because I'm really not equipped to do them, but I thought I'd give this a try since a couple of people wanted to know how I achieved a certain effect last night. So let's get down to it. Now what I'm going to show you tonight is how to get some streaking or oil stains or whatever have you from a simple ink pen such as this. Specifically, this is a Pigma Micron 05 archival ink pen that I picked up from my local arts and crafts store for about, I don't know, a dollar. I doubt any much more than that, so it's pretty cheap. It's got a fine tip. It's brown ink, so it kind of replicates, you know, dirty oil, grime, dirt, streaking, whatever it is that you want to replicate with a dark brown works very nicely on a dark gray such as this tiger which is how I used it I think fairly effectively uh, to create some streaks um, stains here and kind of some filters here that you could normally produce with oils or something like that but um, I'll kind of go over you know how effective I actually think it is versus oils or anything like that and uh, but first let's see how I actually did it. It's real simple. Let's put this guy down here. Get my little guinea pig here, which is an old tank that I don't really care for anymore. So he makes for a good little experimental guy. Pretty simple. The first one I'm going to go over um, is how to do streaks, small ones, such as what you see on the side of this tiger here. Let's get this in focus. Huh? No, don't want to focus. Well, anyways, these little ones here, pretty simple. Let's find a good surface to do this on, and touch the pen lightly to it. It's just like drawing on it, nothing complicated. You can make them pretty fine, or as thick as you want, depending on the look that you're after. Not really liking my focus here, but whatever. All right, so you can see that right there. So those would be some nice fresh oil stains or dirt, something of that nature. You can also blend it in, kind of feather it out if you want to, if you don't like them so bold like that. So just draw them on, get a nice soft bristled paintbrush and some light strokes and it kind of blends them in a little bit this lighting isn't the best but I hope you kind of get the idea especially if you experiment with it yourself you kind of get the gist of what's going on here there's kind of two different ways that you can do it blended it in with the paintbrush or just simply drawing it on and leaving it the way it is not so bad um, of course you can pile it on and make it as thick or as thin as you want if you want to layer it up be liberal with it no big deal the good thing about this pen is if you use a little too much it wipes off with no problem for the most part you might get a little little stain here and there but so that would be a larger streak not so bad let's give you like let's see for instance if you don't like it pretty much wipes off pretty much there's a little bit there but it's easy to work with and forgiving so those are streaks um, you can make some thicker stains like build up around the engine compartment like what I've got here the same way just draw it on nothing crazy kinda do it here 
and it works a little bit like a filter oil filter dot weathering whatever just kind of a random pattern there and I just feather it out kind of blend it into the bottom finish it gives you some staining you can build up on it by just adding some more <laughs> I think you're getting the idea you can even draw a stain you don't even have to use the paintbrush if you want something a little bit more fresh looking a little bit more wet you can just draw a random pattern or two it might look a little cartoony at first until you know you work it out the way that you want um, it makes nice little droplets just by stippling it on there, building it up. You can get little oil spots. Um, it even works well for, say, chipping. Like here chipping along the edge of a turret <laughs> if you like chipping some people don't like chipping so it's really up to you me on my small scale stuff like these 170 second tanks I kinda like my weathering to pop whether it's realistic or not I really don't care um, because on something as small as this I like the details to stand out so you can see I've got my streaks not really calling it chipping, but I do have chipping here, and this is a little off topic, but there's some lighter gray chipping along the, the bottom of the turret, along the top here. Yeah, so, like I'm saying, I don't know, for my small stuff, I like it to pop. Whether it's realistic or not, I really don't care. Scale effect, blah, 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 I, you know, that's not for me, whatever. I like it to look kind of cool and used and that's the way I do it aside from that um, I think that you know pretty much covers it for the pen it's pretty handy normally I would do something like this with artist oils um, this is rather economical you know for a dollar maybe a few cents more you can get this pen and achieve a pretty effective look um, and pretty simply too. Uh, it's easy to work with. You can blend it in with a paintbrush. Uh, and you can pretty much wipe it clean if you don't like the look that you've produced. Whether or not this will replace my oils, I don't think so. I think that they'll work together nicely. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe as I progress with this, I mean, this is really the first time that I've used it. Uh, I'm not totally convinced with it, but I kind of like it. Uh, but I think it'll work well together with some other tools and techniques, and uh, we'll see how it goes from there. All right, that's uh, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll talk to you guys again later.